Today we're going to discuss prepositions, specifically with, to, and on. I went to the store with her on Sunday. I love to dance with my granddaughter on Saturday. I need to pay with a check on Friday. I ran to, to her and hugged her with both arms so she rested her head on my shoulder. I walked to the store on 3rd Street with my child. I went to see a movie at the theater on 5th Avenue with a friend. I ran to her house on 9th Avenue with my dog running behind me. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Gaudi. <clears throat> With enough time and effort, you can learn almost anything. You must build houses on strong foundations. Two men wanted to join the team too. I plan to go to the movies with my family on Saturday. They are married with two young children. Astronauts landed on the moon. I want to go ballroom dancing. I will help you with English grammar. I will help you to learn English. He taught a lesson on verbs. With my help, I hope to guide you on the path to English mastery. And then let's go back and do a little bit more detail on them. I went to the store with her on Sunday. Now, two in this case is showing you where they're going. Where did, where did they go? And they went to the store. And you can't really use anything else there to sound natural. I mean, I went in, doesn't quite work unless you go, I went into the store. But I went into the store with her. It doesn't sound right because if you're going into the store, that's like you're giving a play by play. So that's why you would just choose to use two. Because w when you add with her after that, it just sounds better than I went into the store with her. Well, it could kind of work. But out of all the other prepositions, it's just easier to use two, and it sounds more fluent. And with her, if you're going with somebody, like, uh, what's another term for with? In Spanish, it would be contigo or conmigo. Um, and I think in Japanese, it's you use two for and, you know, with somebody else. But, um... Yeah, there's not a really other good, there's not a real good term to use other than with. It basically shows instead of just one person, you two are going together to a destination. Or what you're using in conjunction or together. And then on, on is a, a good thing for dates. We also use it if you're going to place something on, like if you place a book on a desk, but it is also used for dates. We went on Sunday. We will go on Friday. And then I love to dance. And you use to a lot with phrases with verbs. Like I love to dance. I love to sing. I love to hunt. I love to party. So I love to dance with my granddaughter on Saturday. So again, we're using on to specify the date. And again, we're using with to show who we did the activity with. 
I need to pay with a check on Friday. Then again, to with another verb. And with, this time is not with a person, but it's with an object. So that's what we're using. You could also do, I need to pay using a check on Friday. Now you couldn't use the in replace of a, you, you could use, it doesn't sound as fluent. It's better to say, I want to play with a check or I want to play with my check than it does, I want to pay with the check. Unless there's a, yeah, it just doesn't sound right. Now, if you're saying, um, I would like the check, which you're asking like the waiter for the check, can I have the check please? Because you don't want a check in that situation. Because that's a very specific check. That is your check. Or you could ask, can I have my bill? And again, on is being used to show the date. I ran to her and hugged her with both arms. So she rested her head on my shoulder. Now this time, instead of going with a verb, the two is showing like the direction. Because I read to her or towards her. Either would kind of work in that situation, but most people don't use toward. They'll just say, I ran to her. Or he ran to her. And with, it's basically showing what you're using. I'm using both my arms, so that's what the width is showing you. And on this time, since it's on top of the shoulder, then you know that's what it is. It's, it's on top of something, so that's when we can use on, when we're not using it for dates. I walked to the store on 3rd Street with my child. So two, we're showing where they're going. They're going to the store. And on 3rd Street is because it's a location thing. And with my child, who we're going with. And then again, we're using two before a verb. I went to see a movie at the theater on 5th Avenue with a friend. And we couldn't use a uh, for this the because once we use the, we are saying a specific one and we follow it up with the specific movie theater, the one on Fifth Avenue. So it's not just any movie theater. When we're using the, it's the movie theater on Fifth Avenue. And when we say a friend, it could be any of our friends. And then I ran to her house on 9th Avenue with my dog running behind me. Uh, to her again, showing, well, to her house, where the, the direction that we're running to is we're running towards her house. And her house sits on 9th Avenue with my dog running behind me. And behind is another preposition and it shows what's behind me now I think basically everything going forward for the rest of these examples are something that I've already discussed previously in this exercise I hope you found it enjoyable um, if there's any details you need me to discuss discuss in more depth I definitely am happy to do that uh, you can reach me at tons of places the easiest thing to do is probably to go to otakus.com excuse me uh, otakos for otakus.com which is linked in my description and you can contact me there or the easiest way probably is leave a comment and ask your question 
But if you're looking for a way not to do it so publicly, uh, go to my website and then nobody will be able to see, you know, what you're asking. And then, like I said, thank you for visiting. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Feel free to ask any questions or suggest future topics in the comments. If you like Christian poetry, check out my other channel, Narrow Gate vs. Scandalgate, on YouTube and many other streaming platforms. You can find my Christian poetry book at Amazon.com under First Fruits by LDDJ. And also under LDDJ on Amazon, I have a decent amount of science fiction and fantasy books if you're into that. But they're all in English. And my website is otacos for otakus.com. Have an incredible day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe in him is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God.